And so the coating on the hair, wow. Hey guys, I'm Shona Lee and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, hi, come on in. Uh, Jorgina will step out once a week while we talk about hair and maybe a little bit about other stuff. Um, now, so today we're going to be talking about braids. Why braids each? I know you braids each. It's not just me, the each. And so we're going to talk about why the braids each and what you can do to stop that. Um, but we're talking about this in the context of getting braids done with synthetic hair. Um, so if you do get your braids on with human hair, you should not be having that itching problem. It might be something else. It, it should not be this. Maybe you have eczema, but it shouldn't be this problem that we're talking about. Um, so let's talk about this. After synthetic hair is manufactured, you know, Panicolon, Tyocolon, and all the others are for kinky and such, um, it's coated with this alkaline coating. And this is to one, make the hair heat resistant. So this is why we can hot water the hair without it burning. Um, and two, make it resistant to like bacteria and mold uh, because these can't exist in an alkaline environment and it's so it's really just to keep it sanitary um from what might happen with it sitting in the factory sitting in the delivery truck sitting in the storeroom in the store um so yeah now unfortunately for us now remember i said this is an alkaline coating unfortunately for us skin is acidic which is leading to that irritation and that itching because this is not the optimal or even suboptimal environment for skin, which is causing that irritation because of that big difference in pH. Let me show this to you on a pH scale. Now, this is a pH scale going from zero to 14, with zero to 6.9 being acidic, seven being neutral where water sits, and 7.1 to 14 being alkaline. Now, healthy skin is slightly acidic at 4.5 to 5.5, which is why you shouldn't use using things on your skin like lemon juice, baking soda, milk of magnesia, and soap. Yes, soap. <laughs> but that's a video for another time. Uh, and so the coating of under here sits somewhere here, I think about an 11 or higher. So what you need to do to get rid of that irritation and itching is to make the hair slightly acidic like skin or at most neutral so how to do this you're gonna soak the hair in a solution of water and apple cider vinegar the ph of apple cider vinegar is can range from 3.1 to 5 making it acidic which is also why you shouldn't be using it on your skin undiluted if even at all um, so you're gonna get a large bowl for my Jamaicans, you get a bath bun, the no man tag, uh, like you see here. Uh, this is mine in my bathtub, getting ready to do it to the hair that I'm now having. Now you're gonna fill it up about halfway, then you're gonna pour in, pour in about half a bottle of apple cider vinegar, like this amount. Then you're gonna take your hair out of the plastic, um, the braid hair, Get rid of all that cardboard packaging and all, but you're gonna leave the elastic bands or scrunchies on it um, to make the hair like not get tangled or anything. And then you're gonna just lay the bundles of hair in the water, that solution, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you don't have to be exact. Sometimes I forget I'm doing it and I get to 30 minutes, but it's no big deal. Um, now, when it's done, you should see a white film sitting on top of the water. That's the alkaline coating that has not come off. Then you're going to take the hair out of the pan, rinse it out, or get another one. Um, and now you're going to add some conditioner to the water. So fill it up again halfway. Um, what I do to get the conditioner in the water, because it doesn't really like dissolve really, um, I put 
condition in my hand, put it under the pipe and rub while the water is running into the pan. That gets your water kind of conditionery. Then um, you do it for another 15 minutes. This is to get rid of any residue that was left over and to get rid of the apple cider vinegar smell. When I do this, I can see you. This is to get rid of any residue, you know, that might be left over or, and also to get rid of that apple cider vinegar smell. The conditioner used for this is the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner, one of my fave conditioners, by the way. Um, I link it in the description. After this, you're going to put the hair to dry. You hang it to dry just like you would hang up clothes. I put them on my line with clothes pin and everything. And remember not to like manipulate the hair or get to so make sure it doesn't get tangled or not it. And so here I am, no irritation, no itching, about four weeks into my braids. Now, unfortunately, you may be coming across this video after you've already got your braids installed. You're itching, you're irritated. It's no fun, you're probably thinking about taking them out because you can't take them any longer. Um, that's why I've got you. You're gonna get a spray bottle. I suggest a continuous spray bottle so you don't have to do too much work. And you're going to put three parts water and one part apple cider vinegar. In other words, quarter away vinegar, then the rest of it water. And then you're going to spray that over all over your hair while focusing on where the braid roots sit, the part where it's on the scalp. Um, so you're gonna soak it because you're basically washing the hair while it's on your head. Um, now after that, you kind of move each braid like so to kind of get it working under the part that's on your scalp. Um, don't go wild and like, because your braids will get fuzzy and you don't want that, you just pay lots to put it in. Um, now if you don't want to do the spray method and spend that whole lot of time that whole time there you can pour the solution over your head but trust me you don't want vinegar water running on your face getting into your eyes or your mouth um so if you are you can get you can like lay back and get somebody to pour the water for you great now once you've done that you're going to rinse it out so if you can just get in the shower for this or the same person get in the shower and just rinse it out, rinse out the vinegar. Um, then you dry your hair how you like. You can air dry or get a hooded dryer. That might be better for you because wet braids are really heavy. Then after this is done, you're going to spray your hair with a liquid leave-in conditioner. We've just washed out all the moisture and everything that's in our hair. We just shampooed our hair. We have to put it back. For this, I like to use the Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Liquid Leave-In Conditioner. Um, so you just spray it, not just roots, to where you, you think your hair is. Oh, an apple cider vinegar can actually be used to maintain a clean scalp while you're wearing your braids. But we're going to talk about that in my next video, which is how to keep your hair healthy while wearing braids and protective styles. And so we can look out for that next. Um, any questions or comments you have, you can leave them below or you can get to me on my Instagram or my Twitter. And remember to protect your spirit, drink water, mind your business, all your scalp. Toodles!